step number five to build a winning attitude. To be up 90% of the time and on when you need to be, this one begins with a question. Is there anybody here who has a thoroughbred horse worth in excess of a million dollars? Okay. If you did have a thoroughbred horse worth over a million dollars, would you keep him up half the night, let him drink coffee and booze and smoke cigarettes and eat junk food? <laughs> what about a $10 dog? $5 cat? You know, actually, you treat a $5 cat better than you do a billion dollar body. And if you had a million dollar thoroughbred, you'd have the best trainer in the country. You would hire a dietitian to make certain his food was exactly right. You'd have the best facilities. You'd have an air-conditioned barn in the summertime and a steam-heated one in the wintertime. A million dollar investment. But here's this billion dollar body. Step number five really boils down to the fact that we need to take care of our health. Now, to do that, there are some very simple things to do. You need to get a reasonable amount of sleep, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Forrest Tennant, the number one drug authority in the country, in my opinion, is a consultant for the National Football League. He's a consultant for Texaco. He's a consultant for Abbott Laboratories, the Justice Department, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Has the largest research staff of anybody in the country. Dr. Tennant says that you need a certain amount of sleep. It's a must because sleep is the only function which permits the brain to replace certain chemicals in the body. And a lot of people who have difficulty in life can be traced directly to the fact that they've upset that balance by not getting enough sleep and by putting those chemicals into their system, which destroys that. You need a certain amount of sleep. Number two, you need to eat a well-balanced diet. Number three, you need to get on an exercise program. I'll just point out that I got on an exercise program 15 years ago. I'm going to brag just for one second. In January the 5th, 1987, I went to the Cooper Clinic in Dallas for my physical. I go every 18 months. While there, I stayed on the treadmill longer than any active player in the National Football League who's been tested, and lots of them have been tested. I'm 60 years old. I have a resting heart rate of 41. I can do things today I never could have dreamed of doing when I was 25 years old. When I got on this program 15 years ago, the first day I ran A Block, I'm here to tell you that a good exercise program will make a dramatic difference in your life. If you're over 30 or over 30 pounds overweight, get medical advice before you get started. Be sensible about it. Do not try to be a weekend hero and end up in serious trouble. Take care of yourself, but do what is necessary to get in shape physically. Now, a lot of people say, well, Zig, I know you're terribly busy. When do you have time to run? Well, I am so busy, I don't have time not to run. That's a literal truth. You see, when you exercise, you activate the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland floods the system with endorphins. Endorphins are over 200 times more powerful than morphine. And the result is you end up on a natural chemical high. And for the next two to five hours, you're far more productive, far more creative, far more energetic. I invest that few minutes in running and get back hours as a result of it. Take time to get in shape. You need to avoid poison. I'm talking, first of all, about smoking cigarettes. Every time you smoke a cigarette, you have just decided to die 14 minutes earlier than you otherwise would have died. 17 and 2 tenths percent of all the deaths in America are attributed directly to smoking cigarettes. Keep that poison out of your system. Booze, every time you take a drink, it damages and destroys brain cells. We now know that expectant mothers, even if they drink very, 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 very moderately during pregnancy, it has an impact. Step number five, ladies and gentlemen, you need to take care of your health.